In this video, we're going to learn about adverbial clauses. The first thing that we need to do is understand what an adverbial clause is in English. Adverbial clauses replace adverbs. Adverbs are words that describe verbs, just like adjectives describe nouns. This is an example of a sentence with an adverb. He screamed loudly. Loudly is an adverb that describes how this person screamed. Adverbial clauses serve the same purpose as adverbs. In this example sentence, when he saw the snake is an adverbial clause, and it's describing when he screamed. Now we'll look at some examples in Spanish. The first one, yo corrí rápidamente. Rápidamente is an adverb describing how I ran. The adverbial clause that replaces the adverb is cuando vi la araña. In Spanish, there are three words that usually indicate an adverbial clause, and they're cuando, donde, y como. If the start of your sentence is in the future tense, then your adverbial clause will take the present subjunctive. Similarly, when you have a command at the front of your sentence, your adverbial clause will also take the present subjunctive. And finally, when you have a sentence that starts in the conditional, your adverbial clause will be in the imperfect subjunctive. Here's an example of some adverbial clauses in action with the word cuando. The first one is in the present tense. I eat when you eat. The second sentence is in the future tense. I will eat when you eat. And it's in the subjunctive because it's implied that you haven't eaten yet. The third sentence is a command. Eat when I eat. And since I haven't eaten yet, it's also in the subjunctive. And then finally, the last sentence is in the conditional and the imperfect subjunctive. I would eat when you eat, but it's also implied that you have not eaten yet. Here are some more examples with the word donde. The first sentence, once again, is in the present tense indicative, so it stays in the present tense indicative the whole time. I study where you study. This is something that we do repeatedly. But if we go to the future tense, I will study where you study. We don't know where you are studying yet, and so it's in the subjunctive. Then the third one, we have a command, study where I study, and you don't know where I'm studying yet. And so that one is also in the subjunctive. And then finally we have, I would study where you study, but we don't know where you study yet, and so it stays in the imperfect subjunctive.